What's bubblegum poppin'? Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm right for real. If you are new to my channel, I ask that you subscribe before you leave. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post another video, you guys. Today I am doing a seafood mukbang. I know I'm a little, let me, let me back out up some. Let me back out up some and then I'll bring the food a little closer like that. All right. That's better. All right, today I'm doing a seafood mukbang. We have some snow crab legs. I have three large, one jumbo. I have a sausage, corn, and a potato. I really didn't want no sausage. I just wanted crab legs, but I said, why not, okay? And in the back, I'm just sipping some rum mixed with dull strawberry and orange pineapple juice. Mm -hmm. So good. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and take my grits and we go get started. Amen. Y'all, I had to pray to make sure this will be a good video because what happened the last time? Uh-uh. So, again, I just had some crab legs. I just got regular traditional, but I put a little bit of crab bowl at the bottom. But y'all, let's get to it. I really wanted some crabs. But a friend of mine had bought me some Mexican food, so I had that for lunch. And I really didn't want to do this video because I had such a day, y'all. <laughs> First and foremost, before I start talking about me, 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 how y'all doing? <laughs> Goodness, I hope y'all had a great weekend. Is everything all right over there? Y'all in great health. I hope so. <laughs> Happy freaking Monday. It's a new week. It's a new week to do whatever you want and become whatever you want to be. Okay. And we ain't letting nobody stop us. We are fastly approaching September. <laughs> like the year, that's the, that's the year. COVID done spent the block. Y'all stay safe out there. I have to remind y'all every video. Please stay safe. Y'all, I took my mom to one of her appointments. And as she was in her doctor's appointment, I took myself to Marshall's. Girl, I leave out of Marshalls. Mind you, I'm on the phone. When I'm on the phone, I tend to not pay attention to a lot of things. Little things, you know what I'm saying? For example, where I park my car. <laughs> so, y'all, I walk out of Marshalls. I go to my mom's doctor sit in the lobby and said she was ready. Come outside. I asked my mom, I said, do you want me to pull the car around, you know, so you don't have to walk? She said, that would be nice. I said, okay. Now, I know what, I had an idea what area I parked in. Just did not quite know. The exact parking lot or parking space I parked in. Girl, I walked to a, a car that appears to be mine. <laughs> it had BITC 8 scratched on the trunk. It was like dented at the bottom. My, my, um, my tent is lifting just a little bit in the back seat. Just a little bit. It's very unnoticeable. Child, the tent just torn. So I'm looking like, what the hell? <laughs> My voice the echo. I don't get mad at materialistic things. You know what I mean? Like, it really, I was really shocked and a little disturbed and confused 
But I wasn't like mad, right? I was confused. So I went ahead and accepted the fact that <laughs> when I got out my car, this little young kid, he looked like he was about a good 15 years old. He walked up to me and asked me if I had any, you know, spare chance to get him something to eat. Looked like he just got home from school. I didn't have any, you know, change. I didn't have no dollars or nothing. So, of course, I didn't give it to him. And I thought maybe he got mad and keep B-I-T-C-H on the back of my trunk, scratched up my car, keyed the car like it was bad. So, my mama looked at me like, what is wrong? Like, what are you looking at? I said, somebody done keyed my car. Somebody done kicked it. Nah, 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 nah. So, here I go. Try and get in the car, because as long as you got the key fob and push the little button, the door will open. The door wasn't open, the door was jammed. At that point. Because I'm like, okay, he done went through desperate measures to ruin my property. Now, mind you, <laughs> I was in Marshalls for a very long time. <laughs> I was in there for a while. So I'm thinking, he done did all he needed to do while I was inside of Marshalls. Girl, I pitched the little kick fog. Tell me why my car was right in front of that car. <laughs> this car, y'all, was the same color. It had like the same trim, everything. I couldn't believe it. So I dealt with that. My God, it's a hundred and something degrees outside. And <laughs> I was 10 many years old <laughs> when I found out that we have a whole storm heading our way. We under a whole hurricane watch. And I did not know it didn't rain today. It didn't, you know. I don't watch the news. And the reason I don't watch the news is because when we was in the when the pandemic first hit in 2020, I was one of those people that would watch the news and get sick from worrying. So, ever since then, I really stopped watching the news. And any type of news that I should know that's going around in my neighborhoods and around me, etc., etc. Try to get on Facebook and my mama tell me. And today, I just so happened to get the news about the hurricane from my Facebook. So I'm like, oh my goodness. And I was just saying to my friends how we haven't had any hurricanes, like any storm watches or nothing this hurricane season. Our storms, our storms usually hit in June, July, and August. Maybe said August isn't up. I'm coming. So, if you're in Florida, please stay safe. Evacuate if you have to. They did say it's turned to a stage three hurricane. I need to go to the store and get some water and a few canned goods. And I already seen that they start early. One of my friends just got off work. He went to Walmart 
No what on the shelves. No bread, no sandwich meat. They did that last time. Last year in October. When the storm hit. And the state went into an emergency evacuation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We had winds, but it didn't it didn't shake the city at all. And a lot of people was mad. And I remember that day because I was filming while the storm was going on, and y'all was chastising me. I was in the comments with y'all like, "Don't y'all chastise me, honey? I had to go and get stuff for my parents." <laughs> I mean, I am dealing with elderlies here. Matter of fact, after this video, I'm going to have to reach out to my parents and make sure they're straight and they got everything they need. Because they said this hurricane watch will be going on until Thursday. Cheering out of school, et cetera, et cetera. It's just a trip. So, we got that going on in the city. Not to mention, over the weekend, a horrific event happened. I'm sure most of y'all seen it because a lot of y'all had hit me up on um, Snapchat and sent prayers under some videos. I'm sure some of y'all hit me up on um, Instagram, but I'm not on Instagram right now. But yes, it was a tragic event that happened near my family's home where a guy went into Dollar General. And excuse me for using certain words. I have to use certain words so I won't get, you know, banned on YouTube. But he had, you know, lit up the store that left three people unalive. So so sad. And a lot of my family they was calling me and writing me making sure I was still okay. Yeah, I was in my bed asleep. Cause I was running errands that day. And my family know I was running errands, so. Or my family know I be running errands. Some have my location, some don't, because not everybody have an iPhone. But, um, I'm talking about my phone was being blown up, because when I go to sleep, I'm, I put my phone on, do not disturb. <laughs> I begin to get notifications all throughout the night. So I don't put my phone do not stir. I put my phone on silent while I go to sleep. So but yeah, people reaching out to me, making sure everything was okay, I was okay. Reaching out to friends, family. Later on found out that it was a racial intent. He left a, a letter. He actually went on the campus of EWC. EWC is the first historical black college in Florida. And it's so not in a good neighborhood here in Jacksonville, but he went to EWC to do it. But when he went into the office aid or whatever, they turned him away. I think he tried to do like a tour of some sort and then, you know, cause tragedy. But they kicked him off campus. So he walked to the nearest store and took away three of our people and then took away himself. So sad, so sad. Then I heard 
it was trouble going on at the mall where some kids done got hurt. Hmm. And they didn't stop there. Shortly after that, some violence was done near the stadium. But it was not that far from me. Downtown. Then it was an incident at Bahama Breeze. Like at Bahama Breeze, come on now. Lord. I just stay in the house, y'all. I just stay in the house. I run my errands for my parents or for myself. Or no, I go to the store or something like that. I sure hate to hear news like that around the city. Anywhere, really. It's just sad, y'all. So, let's keep each other uplifted, prayed up, our cities, our states. Let's just try our best to stay out of harm's way. That's all we can do, y'all. I almost forgot I had these. Mm -hmm. This is Roger Wood. Y'all haven't had Roger Wood in God knows how long. Roger Wood and potato. Man, y'all ever had Roger Wood potato and some onion and bell pepper? What? Talking about a hood meal? This is so good. But yeah, y'all, I didn't, I didn't try to make anyone sad or anything. Cause y'all know we turn up, we get lit over here. But I also want to mm, take some time to recognize these people. They were un unidentified to the public. I just want to recognize those people that we had lost over the weekend in our city. So now y'all see out of all this stuff that's been going on, child. I just was like, oof. So exhausted. From a whole bunch of bad news. But, um. Gotta keep it pushing, y'all. But yeah, I'm about to wrap up this mukbang because I did have to pause because my camera, my camera be going dead at 15 minutes. Now it used to, not going dead, but it get overheated. It used to get overheated like around, hmm, I want to say about 20 minutes, but now I started to do it at 15 minutes and I don't like that. <laughs> but I need to get off here, y'all, and go find some water because when I put y'all on hold while my camera rests, I went on Facebook. And like I said, Facebook keep me updated on all the news. They said the water is about gone. But I do know a few spots I can find some water. And when I buy water and meat and bread and stuff, I don't overdo it, y'all. I literally, <laughs> I literally get like two cases and call it a day. But no, honey, I be seeing people carry out baskets of water. Like, come on, y'all. People going survival mode, honey, they don't care about it. Nobody, uh, man, at this point, this is how this is what we expect every every year. Every year, all right, child, let me go. Oh, 
Right, a little crap. <laughs> yeah, I'll be on my merry way. Give that comment and edit this video. Okay. All right. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching this video today. Like I said, sorry that it had to be a little, a little sad today. You know, we usually don't do things like that. We usually have fun and you know be goofy and stuff. But I just I had to let y'all know what was going on over the weekend, just in case you didn't know. It's just been the energy has really been down around here lately. It's just been crazy, but I'm sending my blessings all through the screen. Y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up before you leave. That will help me a lot. Make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. I love y'all and I'll see y'all on the next vlog. Bye. <laughs>